The three face charges of incitement of public violence and damage to property, among other things. While Hengari and Naoyama were released on bail, Amshelelo was remanded in custody. In response, his lawyer, Kadila Amomo, has appealed the decision of the magistrate in the High Court. Amomo argues that the magistrate's court erred in denying Amshelelo bail while granting it to the other two accused who faced the same charges. Furthermore, Amomo highlighted that there is sufficient reason to believe that the state has a weaker case as the investigator testified that there was no proof of wrongdoing. The state, however, opposes granting bail, citing concerns that the accused has the propensity to repeat the same crime if released. Amshelelo spoke to NBC News and affirmed that despite his liberty being taken away, he remains determined to continue his fight against socioeconomic injustices. Uh, my wife is still not doing well. Um, obviously, she's my number one priority at this moment. She's my number one concern. Um, obviously, things become a bit more difficult when you're not home. But I should inform the country that no matter what it is that they throw at me, that I'm more than prepared to face whatever challenges and whatever it is that they obviously wish to implore on me. But the struggle against injustice and inequality, it's a struggle that should not stop. And we as Namibians should realize to say that these are just tactics to silence those who are critical. Loya Momo expressed confidence in the justice system and is hopeful that his client will be granted bail. And we were just trying to demonstrate to the court that our client, Mr. Amosherero, is a perfect candidate because the investigating officers confirmed on that day that there was absolutely no evidence and therefore he shouldn't have been arrested. But as I said, this matter remains in the hands of the court. Uh, let us respect that. Uh, let us wait for them to pronounce themselves. The High Court is expected to pronounce itself on August the 14th this year on Amshelelo's appeal.